Hi friends, this is Ranish Malhan from Pix Compose. Today we are going to create a round page in the Photoshop. Here you can see the representation of the final result which we are going to achieve in the Photoshop. Before starting, I want to inform you that all the files which we are going to use in this project are available to you in the form of the link and you can find that link in the description. So you can download that link and you can follow along with us. So let's get started with that. So firstly we need a beach image. So for that I will go to the downloads folder and here we can see that we have a beach image which we are going to use for this particular example. I am going to bring this in with my left mouse button. Here you can see that we have the image. Now the challenge is to convert this in the round image. So how we can do that? So basically firstly I will open the lock of the background layer and now I will convert this to the smart object because if I convert this layer into smart layer then I will have options to tweak my filters later in this project. Right click on the layer. Here you can see that we have an option for convert to smart object. So right now the image is converted into the smart object. So I am going to apply a filter. Here you can see that we have a filter. From this I will go to the distort list and here you can see that we have a polar coordinates. Click here. Now we want to change it to from the rectangular to the polar because we want to make it round. So that's why we will convert it to polar. So we will click OK and here you can see that we have a very good image. We can increase the size of the canvas or we can adjust the size of the canvas for that what I will do. I will go to the crop tool. Now I want a square image. So for that I will change the ratio in the options for to 1 is to 1. So now you can see that we have a square stencil. So we can adjust this very easily like this one. So this one is good for my particular example. Now I will commit the changes like this. So now the next thing we have to do is to remove this seam. You can see a seam here, a straight line here. So we have to work on that. So firstly we will select the lasso tool. Now we will make a selection of the area where we want to make the changes. Like I want to make the changes here. Now I will create a new layer or we can go to the edit and here you can see that we have an option for content aware fill. Right now this one is not active because this one will not work on the smart layer. So now what we should do. So basically we have to create a new layer. Now go to the edit menu and here you can see that we have a content aware fill. Click here. Great. So here you can see that we are getting this type of result after working on that. So now we can also click on scale. So you can see that we have a recalculated result here. Now we will change output to current layer and make sure you have checked the sample all layer. Otherwise, this will not take a sample from the other layers. So right now here you can see that we have a colored option. Go here and we can change the value from here. Like I want to use a very high value for color or for colored option. You can see that we, we are getting a better result. So right now we have a rotation option. Let's try it out. So I am going to use it as full. Click here on the full. Now click on OK. You can see that. 
Now the Photoshop is calculated the result in a very good manner. But right now we will work with the none option here. So this value is very good for me. So right now I am going to commit the change. Click OK. You can see that we have this one. We will tweak it further. But right now my main motive is to remove this theme. So firstly I will concentrate on that. So now I am going to make the selection of this area. Now again go back to edit and now select the content aware fill. Again we have the window here you can see that the result is very good. We can also click on the scale. So you can see that we have little bit better result. So click on OK like this. So now let's move further. Select this area. Right now we want to select the content aware fill. Click here. Like this. You can see that we are getting a very good result. We can also select the very high value for the colored option. Here you can see that we are getting a better result. We can also click on the scale for better matching. So now I will commit the change. Here you can see that we have committed the change. Now we can work on this areas. So for that what I will do, I will try to use the patch tool or something like you can say that we can also use the healing brush tool. So I can go here. We have the healing brush tool. I will change the sample to front and below. So in this way it will select the sample from the below layers too. So now we have to select a sample. We have we are going to increase the brush size. For that I will press the right bracket key like this. Now press and hold alt key to take a sample like I want to take a sample from here this area and let's start painting over here. You can see that the result is not good from this area. We are not getting a good result from this area. So let's try this one like this and try to soften the brushes. So I will reduce the hardness so that it can blend in properly. Actually we are trying to enhance the texture over here. So I am going to use this area for the texture. We can also rotate the brush if we want like this. Great, we can rotate it more. Like this, rotate it more. Like this. Now take a sample from here. Take a sample from here. Like this. Great. So we have a very good result here. So now we will apply liquify effect on it to enhance it more. So for that I will press Ctrl 0 right now and select both the layers with the control key. Now I will right click on these layers. So we have to convert these layers into smart object. I can also merge these layers but I want to retain all the options to make changes in the previous settings. So right now we can use the con convert to smart object. Click here. Now we have a smart object. We want to apply a new filter on it which one is the liquify. So I will go here 
in the filter i will click on the liquify you can also use the shortcut key for this shift control x so i will click on it the liquify window is open now so right now i am going to use some features like i want to use this brush so this one is very good like we can make it round little bit like this right we will make it round too like this so in this way we can adjust these settings very easily now i will try to smudge something here to make the waves proper we need to reduce the size or let's increase it try try it in this way like this so if something goes wrong we are, we can also reconstruct that so that that will be not a problem so we can also smooth it out we can use this one to smooth this area the effect of the smudge tool in this area you can see that if nothing works we can also use the patch tool don't worry we will deal with this area in a very proper manner so now what we can do we can also use the blot tool so we need to increase the brush so that it can cover all the area where we want to apply this effect like this let's increase it now i am going to decrease it like this let's decrease it to apply this effect here like this you can see that we are getting a very good effect great so now let's move further i will click okay and commit the changes and right now what we need to do we need to apply a foliage or let's before that let's do one thing we will try to apply uh, you can say that a vignette for that i will go to the filter we can also do that from here like i want to apply a vignette for that i will click here or here on the adjustment layers and here you can see that we have a exposure layer click here now we need to decrease the exposure little bit not too much so i will go it down to about minus 1 so this will be good so now what i want to do i will change it to luminosity because i want to use it as a shadow so right now you can see that we have a layer mask applied over here so we are going to use this one with the gradient tool we don't want to apply it in the center so i am going to press g you can see that we have a gradient tool selected now left click and start dragging like this and release the left mouse button you can see that we have applied the gradient like this we need to increase it try to apply it again so that you can you can redefine the effect so like this so now 
the next thing i want to do is to apply the foliage for that we have to bring a new image from that we will extract the foliage and try to apply that here in this image so let's do that so for that i will go here here you can see that we have a word i image of a beach so i will bring that in like this so we will apply it like this here you can see that we have applied it very well so how we are going to do this so let's see that so right now we are going to bring it again so here we have the image commit the changes we don't want to resize it right now we have a sea we have a beach and we have the foliage so we want to extract this foliage from there so how we can do that we have lot of methods to do that but i am going to use the channel masking for that i am going to turn off these layers now we have we only have these layer so that's why we will get the channels only for this layer because all other layers are hidden right now so i'm going to the channels here you can see that we have only representation of channels for this layer if i turn on these layers like this now if i go back to channels you can see that we can see other images so i will go back to the layers again and turn off these layers now i will go back to the channels here you can see that we have this layer so right now i my task is to find the most contrast between this area and this area so i'm going to check that in the red here you can see that this one is this area is more darker than this area after that if i move further in the green the contrast ratio is little less or you can say that the contrast ratio is way less than the red channel so let's move to the blue here you can see that we are getting what we want basically the foliage area is too dark and the other rest of the area is too bright so we can use the blue channel so i can take a copy of this blue channel so that i can work on that so now i will go to the image and here you can see that adjustment i will select the levels why i have selected this because i want to increase the contrast little bit more i want to make the gray pixels brighter or you can say that i want to change the gray pixels into white and the black pixels or darker pixels into black so let's do it how we can do that we can start moving this one like this we can also start moving this one like this you can see that we are getting what we want we can also try to move this slider don't worry about this area we can easily extract this area because we have a white line over here so this one is not a problem for us like this great so i'm going to commit the change now i will use the lasso to like this great so we will get a very good selection in this way so you can see that i have made a selection so now with the white color selected in the foreground i will press alt backspace so in this way you can see that i have filled it with the white so now i can press control d to deselect it now we want to fill a black color here right now i am not going to make a selection with the marker tool because you can see that we have very little little details over here we don't want to mess with them so i'm going to use the brush tool with the black in the foreground here you can see that i'm going to increase the size 
like this so now we are going to fill this out here don't worry about that so I am happy with the result we can reduce the size like this so here you can see that we have a selection for us so this selection will work very well for us so we are going to use this one so right now we can press and hold control and you can see that if I move my cursor to this icon you will see a skewer on the hand this is representing a selection if now with the control key selected if I click on it you can see that it will make the selection according to our requirement now I can click on RGB if I go back here I can press on the layer mask you can see that we have our selection now we want the inverse result so for that I will press ctrl I so you can see that we have a inverse effect over here so I am going to turn on the layer behind so now we will start taking the copy of this layer and start adjusting it we need to transform it very well so for that I will press ctrl T firstly I will apply this on this end like this you can see that we are getting a very good result we can also use the wrap option we can commit the change now we will take a copy of this you can use the control J to make a copy we will clean the image afterwards like this I am going to use it like this this is looking great so now I will take a copy by holding alt and start drag it here now I will press ctrl T and now start rotating it like this so recommit the change now I will hold the alt key and start drag it and press ctrl T here and adjust it like this So great we have adjusted it so well now the one thing is if you notice that we have the lighting issues so to match the lighting we have to flip some copies of the foliage images so for that firstly I am going to flip this one on the right the one on the right so I will right click here and click on flip horizontal so now we will adjust this one like this now we will press here we can use it as it is now we have to flip this one press ctrl T and flip it like this now adjust this one like this now we can adjust it more if we want with the wrapping actions I am going to take a copy of this now we will press ctrl T and rotate it like this like this so 
so this looks great here we can also do the same thing on the other side take a copy of this layer bring it here flip it for that i will press ctrl t and now i will right click here here you can see that we have flip horizontal and drag it like this now commit the change bring this layer on the top great so now we will start cleaning up our artwork so for that what i will do i will try to remove these hard edges for that i will go here in the layer mask press b key with the smoother brush i will start painting but firstly i will increase the size of the brush like this you can see that how easy it was now we so now we have to find the other edge where it is here you can see that some unwanted stuff we have here so we have to remove this one like this like this so now we have a clean image we can remove other things here you can see that we have a seam here we can use the move tool like this now select the layer mask now go to the brush tool with the b key now start painting over here like this now you can see that we have a very good image again now right now you can see that the beach is little bit oval i want it round so i will go back to this layer now i will press ctrl t press ok and now what we are going to do we are going to scale it in one direction or you can say that in two direction left and right like this so now you can see that we have a round beach commit the change click ok here you can see that we have a round image so basically now we can color correct this right now here you can notice that we have a people walking over here which are stretched because of our editing so we can deal with that for that i will go in the smart object here you can see that we have these guys so basically how we can deal with them with the sport healing brush tool so now i will go to the sport healing brush tool you can also use the shortcut key j now i will increase the size of the brush like this now i will start painting over here you can see that this one is not working because we haven't selected the sample all layers that's why it is not sampling from here so we will select this option from here now we will start painting here you can see that the problem is cleared now press ctrl s to save it so that it can reflect in the original image so if we go back here you can see that we have no distractions over here so now we are going to color correct our image for that i will go to this option and here you can see that we have a vibrance click here on the vibrance we can increase the vibrance like this now we can also increase the saturation if we want like this to make our image more saturated this one work for that we can also tweak these areas if we want like i want to tweak this area for that i can press ctrl t and try to use the wrap option you can see that we will not able to use the wrap option if i click here because 
the object is smart object right now we can right click on it and click on rasterize so now the image is rasterized the smart object options are not available for this layer right now so i can press ctrl t so now i will right click here and select the wrap option now we can start wrapping it like this if we want you can see that how easy it was we can also do the same with this rasterize the image now press ctrl t and now press wrap options start wrapping it i want to bring this area in little bit bring it down like this adjust it like this great so we can commit the change now let's move further we will start we will do same with all other layers press ctrl t and again we will right click and start the wrapping options and start adjusting it like this so you can say, uh, see that we can easily enhance the look of this image and we can also easily achieve this result in the photoshop so if you liked our video please don't forget to subscribe our channel and do press the bell icon and if you have any suggestions for us please don't forget to write us thanks for watching